I'm Kitty. And I'm Jennifer. And we're the O'Neill Sisters. We're going to show you how to make this pretty beaded bracelet. I love how the mix of colors make this a bracelet that just goes with everything. And the little touches of gold with those gold bead caps really give it a lot of pizzazz. We're going to show you everything you need to know to make this bracelet, including all the tools and all the materials to buy. We're going to show you how to make this simple loops on each bead and how to attach them to the chain and also how to put on the clasp. And if you have any comments or you have any questions while you're making your bracelet, go ahead and post them and we'll get back to you. So let's get started. You need chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, and wire cutters. Then you need a seven inch piece of gold chain, a lobster clasp, and a jump ring. You need 24 head pins and ours are gold plated and that's fine. You need 12 rondels, all different colors, but same size and same shape and six crystal bicones. Again, same size, same shape, but different colors. You need four gold filigree beads and then you need 12 gold bead caps that are flower shaped. And lastly, you can use a piece of felt um, to work on like we are today. The first thing we need to do is to put all the beads onto head pins and then finish those with simple loops. We're going to start with a head pin and we're going to take one of our bicone beads, any bead, doesn't matter. We're going to do all of them eventually, so we're just pick a bead. We're going to slide it on. Make sure your beads um, don't slide off of your head pin. And then we're going to take our chain nose pliers and holding onto the bead, we're going to pull the, the wire of the head pin to make a 90 degree angle. So you want the wire to go straight up through the bead and then 90 degrees over. Just like that. Then we need to trim that tail of that piece of wire to one centimeter. And we went ahead and took a ruler and wrote on a piece of paper how big a centimeter was with a Sharpie just to make it easier for you to see. And we're gonna use that as our guide to cut the tail. And to cut the tail, I'm going to use this flat side of these wire cutters rather than this angled side. And that's so that my end is nice and flat and not um, pointed. And you might want to grab the wire with your wire cutters and then grab the tail with your other hand so that it doesn't fly off. Just like that. We'll set that aside. Now we're going to switch to our round nose pliers. And this is where we make the simple loop. So as you can see, we've marked on our round nose pliers with a Sharpie at the point where we want to make all of our loops. And that's so that each loop will end up being the exact same size or close to it. So I'm going to grab the very end of this tail with um, the chain nose pliers or round nose pliers at that point, And I'm going to just roll the wire part way, kind of making half a loop. I'm going to reposition the pliers back to that same mark and continue making my loop. You should wind up with very little neck and a round loop. So if your first loop, if you look at it and the neck's a little bit long, then what you need to do is either go up or down a little bit on your round nose pliers. So if you go down a little bit, you'll go to the smaller part of the pliers, you'll make a smaller loop, that'll give you a longer neck. And if you go in the other direction, you'll get a bigger loop and a smaller neck. So you can just practice a little bit and see where's the best spot on your pliers to get a good perfect loop. So let's do that again. This time we'll do it with a rondel and every rondel gets a bead cap. And the bead cap could go above or below and it's random. So you just either put a bead cap on and then put on a rondel or vice versa. But make sure the rondel is nestled into the curve of the bead cap. So there's our bead cap and our bead, our rondel. And then we're going to use our chain nose pliers. Same thing. We're going to pull the wire to make a 90 degree bend, just like that. Then we're going to use our wire cutters to measure and cut the little tail here. Actually, I'm going to do it upside down. Oh, that's good. So I can see it a little better. So I'm grabbing the wire where I want to cut it with the flat side of my, pli or my um, cutters. I'm going to hold on to both sides of the wire and snip. And then I'll switch to the round nose pliers, 
hold it like that and I'm going to grab at that same mark at the very end and start rolling part way. Reposition the pliers and keep rolling to make my loop. That's a simple loop. You could make this whole bracelet with wrapped loops instead of the simple loops. And wrapped loops are a little more secure because of the wrap, but they also take longer. If you'd like to learn how to make wrapped loops, you can check out our video called The Dangling Bead Necklace. And we show you how to make uh, wrapped loops there. But for this project, we decided just to use simple loops because it makes the bracelet go together really fast. So we're just going to continue making our simple loops until every bead and bead cap is on a head pin. Now we have all of our beads on head pins with simple loops and we're ready to put them on our chain. And the chain is seven inches long, but we're just going to bead six inches of it so that we have an inch at the end to make it adjustable. And that means we have 24 beads to put in six inches of space. So we're going to have four beads per inch or a bead every quarter inch. So we're gonna start at the end over here and we're gonna start a quarter inch in and we're gonna take our bead with our head pin and our simple loop and we wanna put it right there on the chain. So first we're gonna open the loop on our, um, on our head pin here. To do that, we're gonna use chain nose pliers we're going to grab the side that's going to open on our loop and we're going to open it as if you're opening a door. So you want to just sort of pull the loop sort of up or out. You never want to bend it this way because you'll lose that perfect circle. So now we've got that open and we're going to eyeball where a quarter inch is on our chain. It doesn't have to be exact. And we're going to pick that up, slide our little end through the chain take the chain nose pliers and we're just going to close the door of that loop again just like that and now we have our first uh, bead on our chain and so we just pick up another one and it's random so pick up any bead you want I'll use this red one we're going to do the same thing chain nose pliers grab onto the loop open it like you'd open a door and then we're going to pick up our chain and our chain is small, so it's about two lengths or three lengths is about a quarter inch, but your chain may be bigger. So just eyeball where a quarter inch is on your chain. So I'm gonna feed that through like that. And again, I'm going to close my loop. And then we'll do, let's go with a gold one next. We're gonna pick up a gold bead, open our loop with the chain nose pliers. And again, we want to see where that's going to go. So we're going to look at our ruler and take our little end and feed it through the chain. The chain is fighting me here like this. It's like fishing. Okay. <laughs> and we'll just continue on opening the loop, feeding it onto the chain a quarter inch after the previous bead closing the loop until we have all the beads on our chain. So now the bracelet's almost finished. We have all 24 beads on head pins and they're attached to the chain. Now we just need to put on the clasp. To do that, we're going to start with the jump ring. We're gonna open it using the chain nose pliers. So I'm grabbing one side of the chain nose pliers just to the right of where the, the um, jump ring opens and I'm going to use the round nose pliers to grab the other side and I'm going to rotate both tools to open the jump ring kind of like you're opening a door rather than pulling it apart this way. That way it keeps the round shape. I'm going to use this um, little jump ring kind of like a fishing hook and I'm going to put it on the last link of our chain on the short side of the bracelet. We want to use this side to adjust the size so I'm going to take the jump ring and fish on the chain like that. And I'm going to just move that a little bit there. And then I'm going to add my lobster clasp, feed that on. And then all we have to do is close the jump ring. And to do that, we're going to do it the same way we opened it. We're going to hold one side with the chain nose pliers, one with the round nose pliers, and we're just going to close it. And I'm actually going to use my chain nose pliers to kind of push it down like that to make sure it's nice and closed.
So the bracelet is finished and with that lobster clasp on one end, you can hook it to any one of the links on the inch of chain that we left at the other end and that makes it an adjustable bracelet. Or if you wanna make it custom sized, you can just try it on the person who's going to wear it yourself or Jennifer. And I'm just gonna clasp it and pick the length that seems like the right size for her and that one seems pretty good. And then all I do is trim with the wire cutters. I cut off the last link before the one I'm clasped into. And this makes um, a really nice gift then. You can adjust this bracelet to any size um, for anyone. And there you have it. Beautiful. Beautiful.